Hi, everyone. This is Dana Shibley with the company Verifile. And I think it would be useful for us to do some digital signatures. So let's get a document signed. Please sign this doc. Okay. I'll click on the paperclip symbol here. And I'm just going to pull in, let's see, I'll pull in an engagement letter just like that. I'm probably going out of order here, but please cut me some slack on that. Okay. So engagement letter. As you all know by now, hopefully, if I just click send right here, as you know, Christine Carson and Sammy Spouse would simply get access to the engagement letter document, but that's not what I want. I want them to get it and sign it. So I'm going to click in this box right here to request signing, and then I click send, okay? And for these two individuals, uh, yes, I want both of them to sign it, okay? And in fact, I actually want Christine Carson to sign it first. So I click next. And then for the first signer, Christine Carson, I need to answer a couple of questions. Do I want to require the signer, Christine Carson, to agree to these terms right here below? And by the way, I can change these terms to be whatever I would like. And I can set those terms to be a default if I would like. Uh, yes, I do want Christine Carson to have to agree to these terms before she's allowed to sign the document. And yes, I do want her to go through an SMS verification, a one-time signature code verification process as part of signing the document. So I'm going to go ahead and add the mobile phone number at which I know that Christine Carson can receive the one-time signature code. So let me put that number in here. And click next. Okay, and then for the second signer, Sammy Spouse, yes, I want him to agree to these terms. And yes, I want him to have to put in a one-time signature code. So I will add in here what I know to be his mobile phone number at which you can receive that one-time signature code, like that. Okay, so here's the engagement letter. Let me increase its size just a little bit to make it easier to work with. I'll scroll down. And for the first signer, Christine Carson, right? I'm going to move my mouse, which moves the cursor, and I'm going to draw a rectangle right here where I want her signature to go. And if I click in this rectangle, I can choose what content gets filled into her here by her. Well, that first box, I want to be a signature. The second box, let's say I want to be a date in this format right here. Okay. And then I click Next Signer. And the next signer is Sammy Spouse. Okay. For Sammy Spouse, let's just say, for example, I want his signature here, and let's say that I want his initials to go right here. Okay, and because I have many other clients from whom I'm going to need a, a signed engagement letter, I want to create a template of this process so I don't have to keep redrawing these boxes every time I send out an engagement letter. So I'm going to click on the Templates tab right here, and I will save the template under the name perhaps of engagement letter for couples. And if it was just an individual client, I might call that template engagement letter for single person, right? So whenever I pull up the engagement letter and I know how many people I need to sign it, then I would just go to the appropriate template and the boxes would already be drawn for me. Very, very convenient, okay? All right, so um, that's something that I can do, but let's go ahead and just finish this request right here. So I click finish request and submit request. Okay. And now what I can see is that Christine has been notified to sign the engagement letter. So she will have received an email alert inviting her into Verifile to sign the engagement letter. And she can also see directly inside of Verifile that there's an internal alert, right? The internal alert asking her to review and sign the engagement letter. Okay, so you can see I'm now in as Christine Carson, and I'm seeing the internal alert to review and sign the engagement letter. Okay, so I, Christine Carson, the client, am going to click here to review and sign this document. Do I agree to do business electronically? I'm going to click yes. If I click no, I will not be allowed to proceed and sign. So I click yes, okay. And I can see the person who wants my signature wants me to put in a one-time passcode. And I need to click here in order to receive that signature code. Okay, so I, Christine Carson, the client, click here. Okay, and now I, the client, 
Christine Carson am looking on my mobile phone to get that one-time passcode. Okay, and here I can see that one-time passcode that came to me by text, and I will type it in. and click submit. Okay, and I confirm my signature and initial like that. Okay, and now I confirm, yes, I'm okay with my signature going here as Dana requested, and I'm okay with the date going here as Dana requested. Okay, so I've done that. I've just digitally signed that document, and I, Christine Carson, can now see that I have signed the engagement letter, okay? And now Sammy, my spouse, has been notified to sign the same document, okay? We're not gonna go through that same process with Sammy. We wanna be thoughtful about time here, but he's gonna do the same thing. But let's see what this looks like from Dana's perspective, okay? So from Dana's perspective, I can see here that the engagement letter uh, has been signed by Christine. So I can click on the engagement letter here. I can click on it over here as well. Let's say I click on it here and I just click on preview to take a look at the, at the signature. I'll scroll down and I can see where Christine has signed and dated the document. Nice, right? Okay, and then I'll click out here and I want to show you one more thing with regard to the engagement letter and that is that I can click on the gear icon right here and click on view signing info. And here I can see the document signing audit report, which captures all the metadata associated with me requesting the signature from Christine, and also the metadata associated with Christine Carson actually signing the document, including the fact that she's passed the SMS verification process, that she has agreed to do, to do business electronically, and that her IP address has been captured per IRS requirements. And as soon as Sammy signs the same document, and information will be added to this document signing audit report as well. And this can be printed out anytime I like by clicking here. I can print out PDF soft copy or a hard copy whenever I would like to. Okay. All right. So that's electronic signing. You can do that to an unlimited extent inside of Verifile, and you can forget about paying two, three, five bucks per signature and so forth. Thank you very much for your time.